What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going back here in the garage with Sunshine doing a little bit of maintenance. Uh, we're trying to go to the track tomorrow. I'm going to say we're trying to go to the track tomorrow. We're going to the track tomorrow. It is super beautiful today. It's supposed to be super nice tomorrow. The DA will probably be below a thousand feet. There's no water, no humidity. It's going to be like in the mid 50s, uh, 60s. I think it's a high of 70 tomorrow. Anyway, it's going to be a perfect day to the track. But before we do, I've got a couple of things I want to take care of. First off, I want to get plugs changed. People ask what I run. That's what I run right there. It's a NGK9 5238. We gap at 16. It works. I used to run the sevens all the time. You saw on the last motor because that's what it wanted. That's what it always ran on and never would run on the nines. This one we run the nines. Um, you saw the last video. Got the shift node in there. We've test fired it. Uh, everything's set up correctly. I haven't actually got out there and hit it and made it shift or anything because what's the point? If it doesn't work, I'll shift it. <laughs> uh, that's taken care of. But we come back here. I'm going to try today to also get rid of this old gas cap here. I'm sure you guys have the same problem. Really, since I put the E85 in, this cap right here, I actually have to get a screwdriver to pry that off because that seal, I don't know if it dries it out or what it does or if it rusts the piece out and something. It doesn't come out. So, went out to Jam Fab, got this from them, an actual screw-on cap, which would be really nice to have. Might need to get one for that too, but I don't really feel that one that often. That's, that's the methanol tank. So try to get that put on. But most importantly, got new shoes for it. So we got a brand new set of pro radials right here. We're gonna put on it. Uh, right now, we've, you know, we've been having a little bit of trouble uh, as far as launching the car. I mean, it's inconsistent as all get out. It's great one time, it's not the next. We do have a lot of passes on these tires, probably 30, close to 30 to 40 passes. Uh, but they also sat all winter long when we had that big freeze here. So. I mean, I was out there yesterday too, out there at uh, Josh and them shop, and they had a couple sets out there. So I picked me up a new set of tires to put on it. So that's the plan today is get those put on, get the plugs changed, get that fuel cap changed. Um, other than that, I mean, all the other little middle load maintenance stuff is ready to go. Everything else is checked over. It's just ready to go rock and roll. He's messed with the tune just a little bit as far as, a, you know, try to get that smoking out of it on the diesel. Not that I'm concerned about it. It's just kind of irritating. But other than that, guys, Let's get the sucker up in the air, start changing the tires out. All right, got tires off. They're, I don't know if y'all can see that, but they're getting pretty close down to the, the wear indicators. I mean, they got a little bit of life left in them. They're both pretty even. This one might be a little better shape. Well, actually, I mean, you see how long the stripe is, you know, in comparison to what that looks like. You know, they still feel pliable, but they've had some runs on them. They'll make somebody a good mock-up tire or a good starter set for somebody trying to set something. So, all right, now we got 100 bolts to take out of these things and then crack the bead off, put the new ones on. Okay, got both bead locks off. Actually didn't break any bolts off in it. That's nice. Now it's got to bust this bead loose. I actually have this all-star performance bead lock breaker. Compliments to Todd, y'all remember him. It's got the car booger, little green Nova single turbo. Been a while since it's been on the channel. So shout out to him. Thanks for the usage. I was supposed to give it back to him like three months, four months ago. I still got it. I didn't sell it. So uh, gonna take advantage of it while I still got it. Get these suckers slapped on here, get it back on the car. Then start trying to mess with that gas cap. Sometimes this goes Simple, simple, simple. Actually, <laughs> I feel like an idiot now because I gotta remember how to use it. Uh, oh, there it is. Gotta go back the other way. Let me get this one down in here. Remember the last time I think I had to actually, I almost had to put the, uh, ah, come on. There we go. I almost had to hit this one down in there, but oh no. All right. 
Actually, it came off pretty easy. Now, don't do that. Really? Now, that was greedy. Of course, I probably just jinxed myself. Let's see if we can get two in a row. I know you gotta wash this thing because it will bend your rim if they're too tight. But these are actually coming off pretty soon. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Needless to say, I wouldn't be on a roundy round pit crew at all. All right, we got the tires back on, got everything torqued down. I haven't got it back down on the ground yet. Got about 30 pounds of pressure in them. Try to seat that bead in the back and just make sure they don't leak down. Actually didn't break any bolts off. Already posted those on Marketplace. Those should be gone here in about uh, three or four minutes or I'll have 75 messages. So I guess the next thing what we're gonna do is, uh, before I set this on the ground, I'm gonna jump over on the back because it's easier to get to. Go ahead and take this cap off. This is what I'm talking about here. This little gasket, not this gasket, if this little piece right here starts to, you see that spring in there, kind of crusty. It just makes it hard to, whatever. We're getting rid of that. I'm going with this one, it should fit right in the exact same spot. Maybe I can screw the top on and off. It's got a nice O-ring on it. Don't have to worry about that. It's such a pain on bed to get on and off. So we'll tackle that and get plugs put in it, set the sucker on the ground, start it up and uh, get ready to go racing. That's not too bad. This actually comes with its own bolts and nut set, which are a little nicer. It's a little Allen wrench head. This thing's already got a ring on it inside. These are all connected to, and this slides over and I'm not too concerned about looking pretty as I am functioning. And of course, I put one of the other bolts on first and it doesn't fit, so now I've got to try to get that out of there. Odds are, it's going to be there for life, as long as it doesn't fall down inside the gas tank. I don't care! Oh, look at that. It actually did go on. Right. Get a little hand crank on there just in case. It's tighter than I thought. Oh, don't break loose. Don't break loose. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about right here. I don't know if I can get this one off or not. It'd be nice if it would just unscrew and not fall down in there. But for right now, that's gonna work. I've got the extra. Oh, that's so much nicer. Man, that is so much easier than trying to mess with that other thing. All right, two projects down. One more to go. Just gotta switch plugs out on this. That's gonna bug me. I mean, it is. I'm gonna have to get that one little nut out of there, but. Other than that, let's change plugs on the sucker, set it on the ground, start it up, make sure everything checks out all right, and stick a fork in it. All right, guys, everything is buttoned up. Car is back on the ground, obviously. Everything's changed out, got all the plugs changed. I managed to get all of them changed without freaking taking a bath and anti-seize. Just need to clean it up a little bit, fire it up real quick, make sure everything's going good. I like I said, he changed the tune a little bit uh, as far as on the startup and on the D-cell, but it shouldn't affect too much. So we'll get in here started real quick and make sure everything, like I said, idles. Sounds good, ready to go to the track tomorrow. Helps turn the power on.
love the sound of this thing. Not that I'm all about big nasty cams and stuff like that, but it just, this thing sounds freaking awesome. Oh, hopefully tomorrow guys, it's, we're set. We've got freaking new tires on it. Got the shift noid on it. Everything's new. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Suspension is set back to neutral where it was. So like I said, the air, it's, it's kind of cold here right now. So hopefully tomorrow, DA sub 900 feet and no water in the air that, ah, woo, burning my eyes. But she's ready to go guys, she's ready to race. We're gonna find out tomorrow. Hopefully we got there, run us a good number. We got a couple of races coming up we wanna race in. Get sunshine ready for, so. Other than that guys, I mean, there's nothing left but to get out there and do it. Told y'all, this video's not even over yet. Guy on his way over here to pick up the tires. Tell you, I mean, you can't keep those things around right now. That's gonna do it for us right now, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll catch you guys on the next one.